Now, your Super Doppler 10 forecast with meteorologist Jeremy Wheeler. Look at these high temperatures over the next uh, few days. I mean, we're way above average today and tomorrow, 73, 74. Yesterday, we were in the low 70s, made it to 72 in Norfolk. Um, and so uh, the, today, the record is 77, so back in 1950. I don't think we'll be breaking records, but it's way above average. I mean, the average is 51. So uh, 56 Saturday, 59 Sunday, and then 46 for a high on Monday. We've got the cold kind of coming back for a couple of days, and it won't, won't be quite as cold as it was just recently, but still the temperatures are going to dip big time going into early next week. So our uh, chances for rain, you know, this morning, a slight chance will be some sprinkles and drizzle. And then this afternoon, scattered showers, 40%. Pretty dry Friday morning, Friday afternoon, scattered showers again, maybe a few thunderstorms though. And then uh, Saturday, a 60% chance of rain. And the Friday, Saturday forecast, the chances keep going up and down a little bit. So uh, kind of got to take it day by day, and that's because we've got a couple of systems going on. We've got num number one today, a stationary front to our north and west, and then an area of low pressure to the west that'll be moving through as we go into uh, Saturday and Sunday. So anyway, right now we got the warm, humid air mass in place. You can clearly tell that, and uh, yeah, I mean, right now the temperatures are up. We're in the 60s currently. The dew points are in the 60s or around 60. So that humidity is up and it'll stay up for a while, probably dropping going into Monday and Tuesday, but maybe not dropping that fast on Monday. We'll see. Now, Super Doppler 10 radar. There's not much rain. Got a couple of sprinkles around, but that's about it. A little bit more rain down towards Greenville, North Carolina, a little bit more towards Farmville, but nothing here except for sprinkles in isolated shower. So that'll be the case this morning up through midday. Not much rain here, a little bit more though up towards the northern neck. However, these showers back to the west, they start moving in, at least to some areas at 3 o'clock. Maybe it takes a little bit longer to get to the ocean front. Maybe that comes in more towards uh, 4, or 5, 6 o'clock. But either way, scattered showers, a little bit less of a chance of rain in North Carolina. Still, you have a chance. And then uh, overnight, that goes away. Now, tomorrow, we'll start off with uh, pretty quiet weather. I'd say maybe a mix of sun and clouds out there first half of the day. Uh, second half of the day, scattered showers move in. Uh, our models backed off the rain a little bit. Some other models have quite a bit more rain. Let's keep that in mind. But with these scattered showers coming through, there could be some isolated thunderstorms because that'll be ahead of a cold front that'll slip through uh, Friday night and Saturday. So that front will uh, probably sink to our south Saturday morning, and then it'll try and push back north Saturday afternoon. And so as that happens or starts to happen, that rain looks like it'll push back in too. So uh, and then quite a bit of rain on Sunday as the actual low swings through the region. Anyway, today, 72 Virginia Beach, 73 Norfolk, 74 Elizabeth City. It will be warm for this time of year. Scattered afternoon showers, uh, especially as you go farther north. Uh, 64 Melfa, 68 Hampton. Yeah, there'll still be some 60s. Remember, the, the bay temperature's in the 40s. That's why Melfa's not so warm. 72 in Newport News, 74 Williamsburg. And that bay temperature, there it is, 43 degrees right now. So tomorrow, you got highs in the 70s. It's going to be warm and humid again. Scattered afternoon showers, 50s over the weekend. And again, that chance of rain Sunday is big. And then uh, Monday, still some precip. Maybe a mix, wintry mix in the evening as the temperatures fall.